Now we're going to learn about the Clock app, and that has both a timer and an alarm. So I think both of those you might really like if you decide to start using your iPad more. And then I'm going to kind of show you a little bit about settings. A lot of that's kind of complicated stuff, and I've tried to get everything set in a way that you might like it. Um, but you can just call me to ask about anything in there uh, if what I show you is too brief. So we'll start with the clock. So I'm going to click on that. And first, down at the bottom here, geez, you can't see it too well. Let's, I wonder if it's the angle. I'm sorry. Let me, there, if I hold my phone to record at this angle, you can see at the bottom that there are four different elements to the clock and it will open when you click it to open it'll open in whatever you were last using so if you were last using the alarm clock it'll be in there or the timer or stopwatch so right now it is on oops world clock and i plugged this stuff in just in case it's handy for you so it shows you on a map where these locations are, and then it shows you what time it is in each of those locations. Um, it only does big cities. So maybe I'll try Madison, but basically it'll show you what time you're at and what time it is for Libby and Mac. And I'm the same time as Libby, so I just left that. But then you can get a sense of who's, how many hours behind or ahead things are. Okay, now the alarm clock. I'm going to click that and it switches. There's probably, I don't know if there's a different view this way, no. So to add a new one, you go to the top here and click the plus sign. And then this is basically how you set your alarm. So you touch your finger and you can roll this to pick a number. So let's say we want to wake up tomorrow at 8.30 a.m. Each one of these things has a little rolly and you just put your finger in it and you can roll. And if you go like this, it'll whoo, slide on its own. So we're going to go to 830 and you want to make sure that it's a.m. or p.m. And then down here, there are several different options. You can even name your alarm with a label. You can type in some type of label here. Uh, you can delete what's there. So that's an option I'm going to click back. Um, then you have what sound it makes. Click that. And there's a whole bunch of sounds here. So it'll show you all the different things it can be. So that's one. I'll click here. So as you go through those, it'll make different noises. And you, the last one you pressed is what it'll choose. And then the snooze option is, I think it lasts about nine minutes, where your alarm will go off and you'll be able to click. It'll say, you know, tap here for snooze, and then it'll go off again in another nine minutes. And until you close down that alarm, you just keep clicking snooze. So um, that's one way to do it. And once you've got your alarm set, you just click save. And there is your alarm. Now, you can also set an alarm and turn it off. I'm going to go in here really quickly and I'm going to set another alarm for, let's say, 9.19 p.m. And we'll just leave all this as it is because you can set a sound and then whatever sound you last used will be the one that they all do. If I want to turn snooze off, I can just click that or turn it on. I'm going to click save. Now I have two different alarms going. Let's see here. One is for Monday morning, the next day, and it's turned off, that's why it's gray. And one is red, and it's gonna go off in a little bit. I can go to this one and click, and I can turn it back on by clicking that button, and there it is. So you can basically, I mean, this doesn't say that it's gonna be on Monday in particular, but I can just turn this off because the next day, whenever 8.30 a.m. next shows up, if this is on, that alarm will go off every day at 8.30. So it's just set for the next day. Um, I doubt you'll use the alarm app, but I wanted to show you how to do it. 
um, there is a way to delete them. If you have a whole bunch of different times set in there and you didn't want to do that, you click that edit. This red is to delete. And there you go. I could have left it in. Sometimes you can select, select edit. Click that little arrow on the right. Change the time of the alarm. Click save. And now you have an alarm that's going to go off at 8.25 a.m. every day. Um, and so when you're done making your edits, you click away. Uh, stopwatch, I really don't think you'll use. You would just kind of click start and it runs and you click stop. Um, timer. This I think you might like and it's really pretty simple. So when it opens up, you have that same sort of dial where you can make it spin really fast or you can kind of carefully set it. So you can set it for a certain number of hours and a certain number of minutes. If you're running your laundry and you know that it's done in 35 minutes, you can set your timer for that. And then you simply click start. That's it. It's that simple. And what's cool is it'll have a circle go around here that fills in as the time goes by. I'm going to click done. I'm going to reset this for a really short amount of time so you can see what it looks like the circle as it fills in. We'll set it for one minute start. So it's filling in the circle and when that red thing makes the circle all the way around you'll know that um, your timer is done. So it's a way for you to visually see oh roughly how much time is left in my 35 minutes till the laundry goes off or something like that. Um, and when this finishes it will make the sound that's plugged in down here this video is long enough already, so I'll just let it keep running. And then we will hear the sound, and when the sound goes off, the timer's done, and you'll press a button, and it's that easy. And this timer will run even if the screen is dark, and when the timer goes off, the screen will light up and allow you to press the button. Okay, we're just about there. And the volume setting Will, you can set the volume to make it really loud or quiet. Okay, so there's the timer. It's done. And then you just click OK. But it would keep making that noise until you click the OK button. So there's a way to play with the sounds by just clicking that sound thing. And you can scroll through. And each time you click one of these, it'll make a noise. And whatever's the last one that you selected is the one that it'll use when you've selected it. And you just click away and it's done. So you can also pause the timer if you want. Uh, that's pretty much it. That's timer. It's really handy. I think you might use it.